Let's go to Upola today. Y'all want to ride with me? We're about an hour and a half out. <clears throat> Put some tools together. Gonna have that cut off. Let it you rent. Get that quick drive impact. Got a hammer and a bigger hammer. Could have had that pry bar. Could have had that spud wrench. You don't ever know. You'd be absolutely surprised and amazed at the times that things help me out. A little bit of spray oil. We're going to need our snippers. Vice grips. Channel locks. Phillips head in the flat here. Wire brush. Got to have in case you run across a, a rusty bolt. Need a nose and adjustable. Throw that set of wrenches in there and take that kit with me. We're going to hit the road in this 96 LT1 Buick Roadmaster. We call it a deer. That's why it's got a Caprice hood on it. But anyhow, good old car. Get you on down the road about 18 miles to the gallon. Shaggy <laughs> dog. This old Bronco. 64 with the LT1 in it. 60 Apache, gonna go LS4, L60. Old truck in the back getting a diesel swap. 71, El Camino. It's a beautiful day out here today. And we ain't got too much longer before they're gonna be shutting the door. So let's hit the road. We got about an hour and a half to get there in Mobile, Alabama. The land of the last Mr. Big. No ride without your belt. You're a daisy if you do. Got a full tank of gas. Let's hit the road. I had just turned my phone off the car, but I want to shout out to this gentleman. That's a beautiful car on 300. He showed it like my wagon. That was a nice conversation. Second and third LT1 I've seen out here, believe it or not. Them used to be hard to find, now they turn it up because everybody's snatching them LSs. Let's see what we got. Somebody didn't realize till now, in my old wagon, my door panel comes off in about six pieces because it's broke. These Chevrolets, they put a much better door panel on. It's too bad mine's is beige and they miss on the door anyway. That's all right though. They all in good shape. Snatch them if it was a whole set. Been after me a set of pillow tops. But the pillow top coming at early 90s. 
they, they kind of stopped that with that LT1, so as far as I know, these are nice, but they ain't quite what I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna grab these. If I can get them off. Bet that blue's gone, I'd have snatched that out for my 64. That's a pretty color. This old bull nose came in here running. I promise you that. Old 300. You can't kill them things. I'm gonna get that carburetor and just show y'all something. This is the most hated thing in the 70s and 80s for that Dare Spark box. Lord have mercy. I bet you if I look hard enough on the inside, there's another one or two stashed in there. Take it apart to take it apart. They having a good time over here behind me. Lord, I am too. Got me on this one. That's okay. I'm gonna get you. I usually have gloves on, but I left them in my damn tractor the other day. We're gonna be all right though. Check it out. Simba, the king of the tons. And for a bonus, <clears throat> this reminds me when I was in high school, I drove an '86. It was a year or two after this. It was fuel injected, but this accelerator cable was the same. What happened is that plastic deteriorated on the inside there, and they got hung up wide open leaving the high school parking lot. I got it shut down though, turned the key off. Fun times. Funny what memories you take with you. Gotta have that. Getting hard to come by. I B, look at that. Not a crack in it. Got one little bend that can be fixed though. That's coming home with daddy. Shame on one of y'all. Look at this. Huh. 1983 Grand Fury. I ain't got no need for this stuff. Somebody come save this interior. Dash is beautiful. Come get it, come get it, somebody. Found me a little jewel. How about that? For y'all, blast of the past to me. 2005, 2009, I built these brand new at Hyundai in Montgomery. Built these in the Santa Fe. Fine little car. Time sure flies.
some cool little rigs. You fire it up, it'll air its own tires up. Y'all yeah, probably know that. Now, yeah, let's see. Low on the list. We're going to get us one one day. That's why it's been sitting here for about a year. That's, that's too much. You can get one with a, you can get the record version with the winches for that price. Still cool though. Let's head home. We about there. Pretty good haul today. Got that Carter, got that breather cover, got them poverty caps, that emblem, and the bug shield for about the big old price of $64. Overall, the old car took me a little over two hours today round trip from Jackson down to Mobile. It was a good trip, it was a good old car. Had to turn the AC down once or twice. But we made it, it makes for a good day. If y'all want to see more, let me know.